Hello, uh, YouTube peoples. Today I'm going to teach you, I will teach you how to make a mod pack so that you can know where to put stuff and how to do them. First, download Codename Engine from their GitHub, their Game Banana, wherever. And once you've extracted it, once you've extracted it and all that, you're gonna see all this, including a mods folder. If it's not there, you can just create it. And then I already have a mod pack in here, but I'm, but I'm gonna do a new one for this. Call it test, you can call it whatever you want. And you need uh, about like, yeah, these are all the folders you're gonna need. You're gonna need a folder called data, a folder called images, Okay, I've got it. So you're gonna have you're gonna want to have six folders. Two of them are optional: shaders and fonts. If you want to add those, this is what you wanna. This is what you're gonna have your mod pack right here. If you go into the data folder, you'll see there's five folders. You can probably add a bit more, but this is the main fo five folders you need: characters, config, events, scripts, and stages. In images, you're gonna have six, but you'll probably only probably only be using about four of them: characters, credits, game icons, menus, and stages. In fonts, music, shaders, and in the music, sounds, and songs, you're gonna put all of your sounds, songs, whatever. Music is just for like the menu, menu, game over song, you know, all that. Basically, I'm just gonna explain. <sighs> let me read, let me read this. Okay, I got it done. But n now I'm gonna tell you what each of them does and how you could use them. First, we'll start with the data. In the data folder, there is five folders you you'd want usually want. The characters folder is where the characters XML data goes. Psych engine is not like this. Codename engine does it differently. Instead of it being a JSON, it's an XML. But anyways, uh, yes, this is where the, your character data is gonna go. You can create folders if you want. Uh, I'll show, I'll, once we get to the editors in the codename engine, then I'll show you how to do folders. But you want you can put your data XML or HX whatever in config you're gonna want to have a wait, let me just turn this will house your mod pack any depending on what version you have if it's up to about like 1.0.1 then uh you will have a any file that it will have to create that's just one for my mod but it's gonna look it's gonna look different and you and you can edit it however you like once you create it but also you can put this for your discord if you want you can change how many items appear in the menu your credit xml data and your free play song list if you want that you can also do your store story mode song list store mode list too but i'll probably have to learn it actually but anyways next is events this is where you're gonna house your custom events that you'll have to make if you, if you, if you don't like the default selection of events that codename engine has for example there is change character we'll use this as an example this is a dot pack if you're if you're gonna want to have your event be one single file then you can go to the codename engine official website go to their tools and use their event packer the hx script and your event j parameter json and combine them together and also give it an icon if you want but this is just optional. It'll default to a question mark. This is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna start with your HX, your code for the for your event, and then it's gonna have the parameter at the bottom. Next, scripts. This is where you're gonna put your custom scripts for for like the, for you to use around the pro, the game mod whatever. And then finally, the stage data. Just like the character data, it, it's it's all XML, and uh, <clears throat> you can put your stage data there. Same thing like HX, all that can change the main font that it uses but there's like a new thing for that that we'll have to touch up on later next is images in characters you can put image in xml of your character i'll probably teach you on how to create one and put it into put it into code image. and this one's just self-explanatory next is credit this is where you're going to put your icon credit icon uh, image into for your custom credits that i'll teach you how to create later obviously next is game this is where you're going to put assets for if you want to change some of the assets within the game like if you want to change the ratings yeah there's an option for that it's probably not going to look like it's probably not going to look empty if you're changing it like for my mod that i have right here i have a i have a score which is a folder for all the 
rating stuff, which you probably want in there. Fuck, I spell terror. But anyways, you're gonna want to fold for score if you want to do this, if you want to do all that. Anyways, yeah, icons. This is where you put your icons. You can make them however long you want. Just be sure that the width is 150 times n. I made one for for three. Right here, as you can see, the the, the width. The width and height is 450, 150. Basically, you just wanna wanna have a multiple of 150. Don't worry if you don't if you don't know math or something like that. You can always look up a multi multiplication table on, online. But the, but, the, but don't use this. Huh? If you want to add new data to an icon, you can put it in a folder, and with that, you can you can put an XML called data in there, and you can give it some data. For example, you can make it. You can turn off anti-aliasing or you can just have a folder for different icons next is menus if you want to change something about the menu then here's your spot i don't usually use it <laughs> the only thing i'm using it for is the menu background last folder in here is stages this is where you're gonna put your stage image or if it's animated your image in xml and yeah basically this is this bank basically it's, it's uh, explanatory and you can also put your images for other things too like your, your icon for your mod and uh, cursor yeah for the music folder you're gonna want to put your uh, menu song replacement and if you do if you do ever put a freaky menu replacement make sure it has an in this will this this will have the data for the song, like the BPM. Basically, you can replace Freaky Menu, Breakfast, and whatever is in the Assets folder, the Assets Music folder for Codename Menu. Oh yeah, one one more folder. I almost forgot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, one more folder if you want this. This is optional. You can add your own languages if you want. Just like Psych Engine, you can add your own languages. I'm working on a uh, Portuguese language for my mod but uh yeah you can add your languages here this is a little quick tour tutorial for it if you want to add your own make a uh folder name that probably abbreviates to your language that you want right now there's english spanish italian and polish right now or postcard you want to you're going to want to have there's a readme here you can use this for for making your own language or you can copy the uh okay this one right here has an asset folder and four four items and a config any which houses the name the credits and the version of the of the language editors main options if you want to make your own language you're gonna to have to translate most of the game to your preferred language and put the and put the translated language of thing but now next is Shaders. This is also optional if you don't want to add shaders, but you can add your own shaders with using a dot frag or you know usual shader data. I, I don't know. I don't know most of the file types, but yeah. But next, songs. This is where your song folder is will go once you make your song. I'll I'll definitely tell you guys how to do that. Next is sounds for group sounds. Obviously, this is self-explanatory. You can also put your folders in if you don't want it to be like if you want it to be separate from the rest. And again, videos ex and then finally videos is self-explanatory if you use Psych Engine and know how to mod it. So basically, if you're gonna want to learn Codename Engine modding, then you're gonna want to have these nine folders or 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 these six if you don't want to have the fonts, languages, and shaders folder. Well, basically, you can copy everything from here. As you can see, there's a lot more in-depth stuff right here like an alphabet XML. We'll go a lot more in depth on these things later. And that's about it for the structure of the mod pack. See y'all later.